la mayor mentira de Japón. The biggest lie about Japan. Japan, I think it doesn't happen. What? That from others, so really, they are willing to help you. Antes de comenzar, quiero recordarte que no olvides suscribirte y que si estés de tu agrado de Jesús, like. Asimismo, activa la campanita para que no te pierdas ninguno de nuestros próximos videos. Konnichiwa, Misaki desu. Konnichiwa, Neko Sensei desu. El día de hoy les traigo un video muy interesante. La verdad es que yo estaba en la internet y vi hace unos días atrás un video que me llamó bastante la atención por el título, que es La mayor mentira de Japón. The biggest lie about Japan. Entonces yo dije, wow, quiero verlo con mi esposo que es japonés y que tiene una perspectiva claramente distinta a la persona que hizo el video y también desde mi lado que he experimentado cosas interesantes. Sin darle más largas a esto, comencemos. Les cuento que pueden encontrar el enlace del video en la descripción y comentarios. El video está en inglés, pero acá la parte, todo lo que les mostramos está subtitulado, así que no se preocupen. How do you feel? Yeah. It's difficult because it depends on the food. On the food, eh? But uh -huh. ramen is the one most unhealthy food. Let's see, let's see, let's Japanese. see. And also tempura. Well, you told me you told me that there was this ramen. I'm showing here the picture. What, 2,000 calorie ramen? Yeah. Oh. I think it, it can go goes up to 3,000 kilo. I mean, if you eat that, I wouldn't eat for the next two days. Yeah. It will be too heavy. Mm -hmm. And for you also, it will be heavy, no? Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, <laughs> let's eat an ice cream. No? Yeah. Of course, most Japanese food is healthy, nutritious, and fantastic, right? Japan has one of the longest life expectancies in the world and amongst the lowest rates of obesity to match. People here live forever because they eat a fish. And to be fair, if you look at what people eat at home, it's a relatively well-balanced meal comprised of fish, rice, miso soup, and various pickled vegetables. Maybe the perception is that this is 100% diet, but that, no. that's not true. This is very complicated. Mm -hmm. This is something that only grandmother cooks. Ryokan. Or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know the Japanese hotel. hotel. I think you, you can. You can, you, actually, you may have, a, but it has to be like, like your mom or you have a dad that likes to cook, but it's not something that you will find. Every day, on every meal, no. Mm. But this is a food only the mother or grandmother who doesn't work can cook. But while Japan guidebooks brag about the healthy lifestyles of the Japanese, what they don't tell you is when you go out for lunch or dinner, that well-balanced goodness quickly goes out the window. So let's take a look at 10 of the most popular dishes in Japan and try and work out if they're genuinely healthy or not. What do you think he's going to mention? Okay, ramen, mm. sushi, mm. and uh, gyudon. Mm. Curry rice. Uh, and let's start with sushi, perhaps the most famous. I think one of the biggest oh. misconceptions about Japan is that people mm -hmm. actually eat sushi like every day or every mm -hmm. week. When in reality, it's probably closer to once or twice a month. Usually, if you go to sushi around the sushi restaurant, so better compared, and I don't know how to say it, it's okay to sushi. Mm. So you can see it uh, very long line. You have to wait. For 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Get to the no, seat. I mean, it, it actually it's mm -hmm. it's popular. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but who didn't say once or twice per month? I'm like a. Right, yeah, you see it actually once a week. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say it's not necessarily once or twice per month. It may be going to the restaurant, but I mean, you can't get it in other places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fish itself is pretty healthy, good source of protein and omega 3. Each portion is essentially two-thirds rice. Rice that's infused with rice vinegar, sugar, and salt, making it a deceptively carb-heavy dish. And anyway, what about our second dish, ramen? Well, that soup contains a lot of salt. Uh-huh. Drinking the soup is too much, Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you eat with chashu, that contains a lot of fat. Yeah, but uh, there is nanka name. I have seen, but I don't know. There is vegetarian ramen with kinoko. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it is healthy. Yeah. With, without a, meat, it's going to be. It contains a lot of salt. Oh, yeah, even yeah. though if you choose it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Don't, don't, don't eat that much salt uh, besides ramen because yeah. you know, you're going to have some problems in your kidneys. A study in the Nutritional Journal in 2019 found that areas in Japan with higher numbers of ramen shops recorded more deaths by strokes than other Japanese prefectures. The high levels of sodium in a bowl of ramen being the most likely culprit. Take the finest fish. 
and then batter them, batter them into submission, drown them in oil and serve them with a pile of salt. Crunchy, golden, calorific mayhem. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's true. There are actually there are things that are really good, but at the same time, it's not like you're going to go and everything is handled by robots and those things. No. no. In the early 2000s, Japan's cell phones were a generation ahead of the rest of the world, riding the trains to work, watching TV on their phones. However, instead of taking over the world, Japanese phone companies looked inwards domestically. And I remember the Sony, the Sony, the Sony Ericsson, the oh, I just said, has MP3, Bluetooth. <laughs> Like, wow, the one that you open like this, wow! But now it'll be like a, like a nowadays, I mean, Sony became really... Mm -hmm. Yeah, normal. When iOS and Android emerged in 2007, 2008, Japanese companies quickly lost their lead. And today, all those quirky, unique phones we saw in the 2000s have pretty much gone, well, save for the flip phones. And 50% of smartphone sales in Japan are now just iPhone. In the UK and the US, it's estimated that 25% of transactions are cash-based. In Japan, that figure is still around 65%. Oh, that's high, no? 65% more than me. Half of the transactions are with cash. Mm -hmm. Incredible, no? Yeah. Incredible. But I like cash. No, I like credit card. There are things in Japan that you could classify as being futuristic, particularly when it comes to transport. And the country's already building a long-range maglev train using magnetic levitation to whip passengers from Tokyo to Osaka in just 67 minutes, down from the current time of two and a half hours. Having this type of technology and transportation infrastructure is extremely cool. Do you know how many people from my friends are watching this? How many? Two. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool, that's so cool. And I guess it's going to be a hard job, no? No. No? I, I don't think so. Why? Mm. Because they can't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of budget. Uh, right, 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 right. So the thing is that it's going to be finished like in 2028, supposedly. Mm -hmm. That's pretty soon. Mm -hmm. It depends on the person. It's going to depend, of course, but I can say, and also I think he's also going to mention about being polite. Being polite, mm -hmm. having well manners. Differentiate between politeness and friendliness. Maybe, I think maybe also Korea, no? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Korea, I heard that they also, I, they care a lot about the age. So I've heard countless stories from tourists who have been lost walking around Japan and a stranger comes and helps them and politely comes to their aid. I mean, I remember once I was lost in the mountains of Takayama, beautiful city. I was trying to find my hotel and uh, I asked a shopkeeper, like, excuse me, do you know how to find this hotel? And they got out like a piece of paper and painstakingly drew a map that even then I failed to comprehend. And at this point, they basically shut down their entire shop and personally escorted me round the streets of Takayama. I think that that's not something something related to friendliness because because you approached to the person for help, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why it's normal to get help from that person. Well, actually, there are a lot of people that are really nasty. But, 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 but from from people, I think they they don't come to you to help you. Exactly. And they also usually foreigners or people that who can speak English and not able to speak Japanese. Mm. So for Japanese, if there is a difficulty, yeah, to talk to them. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Another factor on why it's hard to actually break through and get to know someone is the strong emphasis on keeping your thoughts and opinions to yourself. And obviously we have this concept as well back home, being polite, keeping your thoughts up here. But the concept is very strong in Japan, so much so that there's two words to define it, home and tatemai. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's usual, right? that's something that happens everywhere. But I guess in Japan, saving you know, what we say, is, I guess like normal. I guess like saving face is something that in Japan is yeah, I guess mm -hmm. it's really important saving face, like mm -hmm. protecting yourself. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming today. We didn't we didn't show all of these things because first mm -hmm. the cell phone had a problem with the memory storage, so now we changed cell phone. Mm -hmm. And then second, of course, the video is quite long, so we just wanted to keep some important things here that usually people don't consider, like a Japanese food being healthy, futuristic. Especially the part about the Japan being futuristic and the technology. Yeah, that's true. If we have a high percentage of people that are over 60, 
Así que muchísimas gracias por ver, les dejo el enlace abajo y definitivamente espero que ustedes puedan ver este video, puedan comprender un poquito más. Aquí tocamos algunos de estos temas y verdaderamente confirmamos gran parte de ellos. Dejen abajo todas sus preguntas, todos sus comentarios, lo que quieran saber, en lo que los podamos ayudar. Siempre estamos para ustedes. Y que tengan un bonito día. ¡Matane! Bye, bye.